Here I have a Eve Schmeckenbecker clock. Here's the movement. H65 Eve Schmeckenbecker clock. The problem with this clock is the click wasn't working. And so I get something to point with. Here's the click. And there's a spring that goes inside here. Right here is the spring. And that spring pushes on that click to get it to stay in the right position so I got the spring back into the groove I got the click on putting the gear back together and see now with that spring on it it pushes on that click so it stays in position without that spring let me take it out so you can see what I'm talking about. Now I got the spring out. Without that spring in position, the clock sometimes doesn't catch. Sometimes it does, depending on where it's at. Gravity will drop it. But if it's up on top, it doesn't catch. So that's the purpose behind that spring, because gravity isn't always a factor. So, uh, just wanted to show you that in case you have an issue with your clock. A lot of them are designed like this. If you lose the spring, you can actually take a spring from like a Lux clock or a pocket watch that has wind up, like a wind up pocket watch and cut a piece of spring off of it to use for this purpose. I have done it before and it works. See now wherever it's at it catches. Gravity doesn't have to play in factor. I hope this video helps. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and God bless.